Hey guys, today we're talking middle and lower trapezius dysfunction and how we can correct that. You have a big muscle that goes down a lot of your back called your trapezius and it's made up of three parts. Your upper trap, your middle trap, and your lower trap. Separately, they all have individual functions that contribute to the movement of your shoulder blades. If your middle and lower trap aren't working well, you can have pain in that area right between your shoulder blades, or you can even have pain in your shoulder joints itself because the shoulder blade is limiting the way that this joint can function. I've got three really good exercises for each the middle and the lower trap that I use in the clinic that can usually clear these things up with good sequencing. I use this exercise to simply show people what their lower and middle trap should feel like when they use it. For the first exercise, I have a dowel rod here. You can use a broomstick or something that you can hold on to. And we're gonna start with the lower trap. Hold it with your palm facing up. With your other hand, hold it with your palm facing down. You're raising up so that this arm is going up at an angle. So it's not straight overhead and it's not straight out to the side. It's out here at an angle. I want your right arm to be doing the work. So when you come up here, you're going as far as you can without rotating your body. Your chest stays forward. The other piece of this is that you push your chest a little bit forward as you go, squeezing the area between your shoulder blades. You're going to get to a spot where you feel like this arm can't go any further. That's when this comes into play. In that position, you use your bottom arm to push it just a little further, but you're still squeezing this arm as much as you can. That is what's gonna really fire up that lower trap. If you've never felt that before, it might even almost cramp up, but you should feel it right through this area here in your mid back. I'll show you this angle to pinpoint that muscle activation and that muscle belly when you're doing these exercises. Here is the low trap. This is the area that you should feel this when you're doing the exercise. If you feel it up here in your upper trap, that means you're shrugging and you're overusing that trap. So keep that thing down and let it rotate out to the side rather than straight up. So fully as a sequence now, you come up, I run out of room, I'm pushing with my left arm, I'm squeezing, I'm puffing my chest out, staying forward and down. I held it for a couple seconds in that end range to get that fired up. I would do about eight reps in that position. For the middle trap, it's the same exact thing, except now you are going straight out to the side. That activates that middle trap. And with this, same things though. You're keeping your chest facing forward, puff it forward a little bit, squeezing between your shoulder blades. You're pushing with the other arm once you feel like you can't go further, hold for a few seconds and come out of it. And I'd want you to do that on both sides. Exercise number two. You're gonna set up in all fours and I want you to sit back onto your heels. That locks out your lower back. So that focuses that work to your upper back where that trap is. With one arm, place your elbow between your knees and then you can close down that space with your knees. With the free arm, start with it here at that angle. So about a 90 degree angle on the ground. To hit the upper trap, you slide it into an angle here. So not straight up, not out to the side. You slide it up here at this angle. And then once you get here, Naturally, as your arm straightens, your elbow is going to come off the ground, thumb facing towards the ceiling, and then you lift and you try to hold for a couple seconds, down, slide back. So that's one rep. Now this is very difficult, and you're actually going to feel this on both sides of your low trap because that other arm, low trap, is stabilizing as this arm moves. The biggest thing here is not to shrug. You need to keep your shoulder away from your ear, and it needs to be activated with that low trap. You should really feel in that area right between your shoulder blades. So for the lower trap, right there is where it's gonna feel it. And you can see both sides are really firing right now and that's why you can feel it on both sides. For the middle trap, you're sliding out to the side and lifting up from there, holding for a few seconds and then down. You should feel that between your shoulder blade. And then for the middle trap, you should feel it right here. Both sides again are firing, so you might feel this on both sides. You would do eight to 10 reps of each one on each arm. This last exercise is called a face pull. You don't need a cable machine, you can do this with a band, but I'm gonna show you with the cable machine. I'm gonna take two straps here, you can use the triceps pull down rope if you're at the gym and that's what you have available. You get it set up near the height of your face, your thumbs are facing you, you're pulling back like this so that your arms end up in a kind of W position. 
Now, when you do this, there's a couple key things. One, you want your hands to be rotating your arms back at the same rate that your elbows are coming back. What I mean by that is it's not this and it's not this. It's both at the same time. And you're squeezing the shoulder blades, puffing the chest forward as you do it. So you bring it here, you hold for a couple seconds, and then you go back. That's the baseline face pull. Now, if you really want to get that lower and that middle trap activated, you add an overhead press to it. So you're here, and then while still holding everything back, you raise your arms up until they're in a Y position, and then back down into the center. Because of physics, as the lever arm gets longer, this is trying to pull your arms forward. So you have to work extra hard to keep them engaged and pulled back without shrugging your shoulders. That's what can really activate that middle and that lower trap really well to get that activation going. From this angle, you can really see that middle and that lower trap activating, especially with that overhead press. You'll feel that through this entire region here, but that's okay because it's activating a lot of great musculature back here that often gets ignored. All right, and there you have it, guys. Those are three really great ways to activate your middle and your lower trap to start strengthening and gaining function in that region. If you're dealing with pain, I would pick which one of those three you could feel the best activation in that mid and lower trap, and I would do that exercise eight to 10 reps, two to three times a day. We're not trying to break down musculature here, we're trying to activate musculature. So you can do it a few more times a day than you typically would as if you're repping out to failure. As that pain goes away, then I encourage you to start adding these in, trickling them into your workouts when you're doing a back or a shoulder day, just to make sure that, that area is staying functional. But that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll post some more videos here so you can watch some other stuff on my channel if you'd like. I hope that this helps you guys. See you next time.